Let's have a look at how you play with some short pimples. Let's first have a look at the effects of an inverted rubber compared to a short pimple rubber. The first thing is that the short pimple rubber doesn't generate as much spin as the inverted rubber. So that's the inverted rubber. You see the ball coming back pretty quickly to me. This is the short pimple rubber. So you can see I can still generate the backspin, but the ball doesn't have as much spin and doesn't come back towards me as fast. The same applies when you're playing with topspin. So inverted rubber, I can generate more spin. The short pimple rubber is a lot flatter and the ball drops off the racket more. With the inverted rubber, you're going to get a much bigger arc on the ball. So the ball is generating more topspin, so the ball is going to dip faster. With the short pimple rubber, the trajectory is going to be a lot flatter because you can't generate as much spin. Short pimples is useful for flicking because the ball goes through nice and flat and low but you need to make sure that you're hitting that ball right at the peak of the bounce to give yourself enough margin for error. So why would you use short pimples and what are the advantages? So the first thing is the ball comes through faster and flatter and it also makes it a little bit more difficult for your opponent to lift the ball. If you're blocking with the inverted rubber, you see the ball goes back with a bit of top spin and it's a bit easier for my opponent to hit that ball back. When I play with the short pimples, you see the ball skidding through a bit. And it's making it harder for my opponent to lift that ball. Another advantage is that if you're using inverted rubber on one side and short pimples on the other, you're starting to give your opponent different balls. You're going to give them a slower, spinnier, perhaps loopier ball with the inverted rubber, and you're going to give them a flatter, faster, lower ball with the short pimple. They then have to adjust each time. A lot of players are used to playing against inverted rubber, so the ball's coming back to them with a bit of top spin. Whereas with the short pimple rubber, the ball's coming flatter, and it will almost feel like you're generating backspin on the ball because of the difference. As a short pimple player, you want to make the game as fast as possible and also make sure you're staying up as close to the table as you can so that you're cutting down the time of your opponent. If you move too far away from the table, it's going to be hard to generate enough power and spin to be able to get the ball back effectively from back here. If you are using the short pimples, remember, stay close to the table, mix it up between your inverted rubber and your short pimple rubber, and try to have the game as open and as fast as you can, because that's going to be your real advantage. <laughs>